Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm a little bit sick. Is that okay? Is that okay, huh? Is that fucking okay? I'm so sorry for the headphone viewers. May your soul rest in peace. No, but I love how as a kid, sick days are pretty fucking dope. You get to take off school if you were like me, and on top of that, you get to play video games and just chill out, dude. And a quick little disclaimer, I'm talking about like sick as in you get the day off of school like you got a little cold or some shit, okay? I'm not talking about being legitimately fucking sick in the hospital on the verge of fucking death. Jesus, 30 seconds into the video and we're already on the verge of death in the fucking hospital. God damn. Fuck. But after high school, though, if you get sick, it literally just fucks your life, okay? You got a job? Well, guess what? The sickness is gonna slap that shit in the face. You go to college? Guess what? The sickness is gonna dick slap that shit, and it just fucks your whole shit up. Sorry for the language. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, if you make YouTube videos, it, it also fucks that shit up. Just, just felt like I should throw that out there. Yeah. See, the thing about life is this, okay? There's so many things that happen that can fuck up your plans for the next day, okay? For the next two days, for the next five years. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? Missing your flight, missing your cab, falling down in the shower. I mean, I'm, I'm being real, dude. You could go into the shower today, fall down, and break your fucking back. Okay, I don't know about your back. I, I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it's more like you're going to break your toe. But to be honest, though, if you broke your toe, I'm pretty sure that would fuck up your entire day. I know we're going to get a lot of comment warriors here that's like, yeah, I broke my fucking arm one day and I went around just fine. It's like, okay, bro, but I'm pretty sure if I broke my big toe in the shower, I'd be laying there being like, oh my god, I just broke my toe. Send help. And coming from someone that just got done traveling throughout Europe, I can guarantee you for a limited time offer that if you miss a flight... It's gonna fuck up your plans very hard. Missing your flight in another country is like if you spent years going to a culinary arts school, okay? Just to make the perfect chili, okay? One day you decide, this is the day. I'm gonna make the best chili ever fucking known to mankind. You get fresh vegetables. You spend a fortune getting these fresh ass ingredients. You put it all together. You spend hours on this masterpiece of a chili. While you're in the middle of it, a butt ass naked dude breaks into your house. Long blonde hair and a bandana. It's fucking fucking Hulk Hogan. He runs in, knocks you the fuck out, grabs that fresh stock of beans that you have, swallows them down, and then squats down and takes a huge shit in the chili. Trust me, bro. It's gonna fuck up your plans just a little bit. And that's not even half as bad as missing a fly in a different country. Trust me. See, the thing about missing your flight, or the thing about missing a cab even, or even fucking falling down in the shower, is that you might not have 100% control over it, but you got a strong grip on this shit, dude. With getting sick though, sure you can eat healthy, and sure you can exercise, but sometimes that cold will roll up with his 6'4 and fucking run your ass over, dude. How about this, man, okay? You're a big UFC fighter, okay? You got this big fight coming up. The day of the fight, you wake up, you got fucking chicken pox! That's it! I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna affect you, but... Oh, it's gonna affect you. In the fucking ring with this gorilla warrior trying to fucking murder you. You just gotta itch your back though. You go to itch your back and he just knocks you out. Puts you in some chokehold, breaks your whole back. Like just, dude, the UFC fighters know some crazy ass techniques. Like seriously, dude. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a move where it just breaks your back. Like get this, okay? I heard about this on the news. There was this robber. He's like a 5'5 dude, a little bit chubby. And uh, yeah, he like robbed people for a living, right? But this dude is just working hard. And by working hard, I mean literally just walking around the streets at like 3 a.m. at night trying to find someone to rob but he finds a dude that he decides to rob okay this dude get this 6'5 MMA fucking heavyweight fighter are you serious dog what the fuck on any level of all the people to rob dude you decide to rob the fucking gorilla warrior what the fuck and I mean, I'm just throwing this out there, but chances are if he had those reasoning skills not to fight the fucking Gorilla Warrior, he probably would not be patrolling the street 3 fucking a.m. trying to rob someone in the first place. Hey man, just saying, okay? But, uh, spoiler alert, he, uh, gets his ass kicked. Um, apparently the, the UFC fighter, like, broke, like, his arm and his leg. Like, I don't even know how the fuck that even happens, okay? If you break someone's arm, they're not gonna be fine. They're gonna be on the ground be like, oh my god, my fucking arm! Like... How does- how does he break- what? I mean, I might have missed some details, but I just remember watching the news and it's like, UFC fighter beats the shit out of a robber, breaks his leg, and sprains his arm, and I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? Anyways, uh, if you're a criminal and you look to rob people, I would not rob people that are like UFC fighters that are like 6'5", hey? Just trying to look out for all my criminal viewers, okay? That- no big deal. And I think we're going to end it on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if uh, 
if you just want to be a great guy. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, look, man, okay? I don't want to fucking pressure you, okay? I'm not going to pressure you. But look, what goes around comes around. And if you were to like the video, I'm not saying you would win the lottery, but you would win the lottery. <laughs> no jokes aside, though, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching all this support recently. It's been crazy. And, uh, yeah, peace, peace, guys. Thank <laughs> you.